Well everybody, welcome to the channel. Break Pass series here in Sicily at Verdura Resort. I'm out here with Luke and I'll introduce Luke to you as we go around the golf course. But we've got a little break par for you, Luke. Handicap. Four. You're off four, but strokes received round this golf course. Six today. Six so today. So it's basically two above the par, isn't it? No, three, uh, four, two above the par. That's yeah, right, that's yeah. off the white tees. I think. Yeah. Um, I think we'll need those extra two with it. I think we will. Blowing. I think, I think you can get a gauge from Luke's hair how windy it actually <laughs> is out here, and I believe the wind is going to be constant all the way around. This is going to be a challenge, but let's get out of there. First hole here on the east course then, little dog leg round from left to right, par four to get us going with, bunkers down the right, bunkers up the left, and then a bunker just at the front left hand corner of the green. How are you feeling? A bit nervous about the wind. A bit nervous, <laughs> and it's, it's only really going to get worse, yeah, I'm afraid. So. Club? A uh, little three hybrid. Three hybrid, yeah. get yourself into position. Well, there's nothing to be nervous about, that's absolutely spot on. Perfect. Good stuff. Absolutely perfect. Well, I'd buy that off you today. I think, I think most tour players would have bought that off you today. Okay, I got five wood. Might be bunker that one. I don't know, it might be downwind enough, you know? see oh that'll take away the old uh, nerves wouldn't it that tee shot it does yeah right what have you got 150 um a little bit downwind yep. so nine iron in hand for okay me. nice and smooth just left the target it's not a bad spot oh i love that come on in luke that'll do what were you worried about? What was that sleepless night all about, eh? <laughs> I've got pitching wedge, one, three, one to that flag. Uh, it's just a smooth one, I think. I don't think I need to batter it. Get left. Spinning, spinning. That's pretty good. Stop, stop. Birdie putts are on. Near the air, front edge, and then it ran on a little bit for us. But uh, birdie putts. Well, we played the west course yesterday, and uh, got to say the feeling is that possibly these greens, as good as they were yesterday, these greens might be a little bit quicker. Yeah. Just looking at them, looking at my first shot into the green, rolled out a little bit. Okay, got about 12, 15 feet. Pretty flat. Got a, got a position. Reading it just out the right, coming in. Okay. Gave it a go. Yeah. Right, that's your par. Very good, well done. That'll settle you down a bit. Yeah. Quite a quick one downhill, Dan. Yeah. You notice the speed difference from yesterday to today? It seemed to, yeah, it seemed to roll pretty good, pretty quick. Kept rolling out. A little bit out of the left. A lot quicker. In, we'll take our pars and we'll run away. Yeah, let's do it. Second hole, 181 yards off this white tee at the back here. Beautiful par three, wind out the left today. Bunker front left, bunker back right. It's kind of like what looks like a bit of an upside down saucer on that green. Club loop? I mean four iron. Four iron. I think it's hurting a little bit. Okay. We'll see if I'm right. Oh, I love it. Get on there then. A little bit drifting right now. One bounce straight in the trap by the look of that. Okay, up and down required. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna go with five, I think. I think it's a good one. I like these tees because it kind of like pops the ball up for you, doesn't it? Yeah. You just don't need a tee peg. It's the Bermuda, isn't it? Yeah. 
Okay, start at the left and let it come back, yeah? Ah, it's gotta go. Go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, just caught it a bit thin. Cool, you can get a real sense, can't you, when you get down here of how green. pitched up that green is. So out the back bunker. All uphill. All uphill, yeah, got a little ridge kind of to work with. Pins on like a bit of a plateau. My bunker shot looks horrendous now I'm looking at where I am at the front of the green. All running away from me. I love that. That's so good. That is very good. Oh, you place pound sand saves, do you? <laughs> Any mention of a bit of money? Sand is perfect. <laughs> oh, I'd much rather your bunker shot, to be honest with you, uh, looking at the slope that I've got to work with. If I throw it all the way, I'll just tickle it down that slope. Keep it up the left and let it hopefully feed down. Shot inside mine. Right. Bunker play a solid part of your game? It is one of the better parts. Is it, yeah? Yeah. Come on then, show me a good stroke on it. Nice. Talking about your putting stats yesterday, that's uh, yeah, that's, that's all right. Take that. <laughs> Hold <last> on. <laughs> Smidging off that left side, just a fraction left half. Oh, that's a bogey. Third hole, then tight little tee shot down here. It's not a particularly long hole, about 330 yards off the tee that we're going off. But bunker down the left, water stream all the way down the left hand side and then bunkers wrapping round up towards the green as well. Get a narrow hole, get yourself into position off the tee. Half past start. Yeah, this looks like a tight hole. Yeah. Okay. Hitting a three wood, trying to find the fairway. Let's see, aiming it at that bunker. 270 to that. Yeah, let the wind do its thing from there. A little bit out of the right. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, come on back. See it down? Yeah, right, right side of the fairway, I think. Yeah, look, look absolutely spot on. I got five wood. Pretty much the uh, the same as you, really, there, Luke. Just keep it up the right and let the wind, let the wind kind of do its thing from there. Be good. Hold on. Stop. Perfect. Hold on, yeah. Right in the middle. Good. Right then, Luke, introduce yourself. Who are you? And what are you doing out here filming with me? <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm based over in the UK, but um, work for a company called Azalea, but we, uh, we, we work with the Vodora Resort out here in Sicily. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, we're here for, for you to see both courses, hopefully show, um, all your, um, all your audience, the, the beautiful golf courses. Right? And what, what's your what's your role within Azalea then? What do you do? So we we help with the marketing, um, which um, yeah, anything that helps these guys um, be visible in the in the UK. And, and European golf markets. Yeah. Um, so, golfers when they're looking to choose their golf holidays, if uh, all the information out there to um, come and play nice places like this. Yeah, lovely. Well, you're doing a cracking little job. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me. <laughs> so, a four handicap golfer. Mm -hmm. What's the Sometimes. lowest you've been? Four. Lowest you've been is four. Yeah. So, do you play a lot of competition golf? Uh, not so much these days, but no. I have over the years. I've yeah. played golf for 18 years. Yeah. Like that, and, 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 and do you get anxious when you're playing? I mean, you talked about it just before we teed off and said, oh God, my first experience on camera, but do you get anxious when you play in competitions? Not really competitions. I, I don't worry too much about the outcome these days. Yeah. I've had enough, enough bad 
in enough good brands <laughs> yeah. over the years to you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. But yeah, being on camera is a different uh, different ball game. Three or two holes, three holes in, should we say? Yeah. Um, have your nerves settled down a fraction? Yeah, definitely. From, from the first oh, tee. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So first tee nerves. Two pars helped. I yeah. Think, and a steady as shit. Down. Yeah. That helps. Yeah. <laughs> 120, bang on. 120, cracking so, drive, just down the right hand side here. Pins tucked on that right side, so are you kind of, it's in like a little bowl as well, and it's on the top right corner of the bowl. Yeah. Going pin seeking or? I think so, yeah, with the wind coming off the right, it sort of hope, hopefully takes that bunker uh, play a little bit. Okay. Have to hit one big right, let the wind do its thing. Get a lucky bounce then. Come on round. That'll do. Yeah, like that. That's perfect, well done, good shot. 100 yards, bang on. Okay, good angle in here, 54 degree wedge. Pins, as you know, tucked in on that right side. I kind of want to leave it just a little bit left of that flag because it then leaves me kind of more of an uphill putt. Weak shot. Very weak shot. On, happy. Not sure I could have left myself a worse spot to be honest with you. On this green, slight up right here and then all moving down to the left hand side. Again, wind now down and left. So getting managing the control of this is important. Great line. Oh, oh, oh. Great line. Hey, well, that was that was easy. Could easily get away from you that far. Mopping it up. Take my power after that second shot. You saw how much mine wanted to go on that wind down the hill. Should just move a little bit. Kind of out of his right hand side there, a fraction birdie putt. It'd be great if he could pop this in. Hold that line. Fantastic for weight, just a little bit. Wanted to start it a little bit further yeah. to the right. There's always left, wasn't there? Nice, well done though. Solid start, mate. Well done. Right, three holes in. Uh, Luke's got off to a fantastic start, which is great, because obviously he was a bit anxious coming out onto camera for the first time. Um, got onto the range this morning, absolutely flushing it. Felt so confident just about to go out and play. And then I got on the first tee and I just noticed how thick the rough is and how narrow this golf course actually is. And you've got to really position yourself into, into good positions. So I've just kind of, it almost feels like I've clenched up a little bit. So I need to just get back into a bit of a rhythm, back into a routine to hopefully get going and stop steering the ball around this golf course. Fourth hole, 524 meters on this particular par five. Bunkers all the way up this hole. Again, a little bit tight with the rough that's up at the moment. And then the stream that runs all the way down the left hand side. But then when you get it to around sort of 40, 50, 60 yards from the green, it then cuts across the fairway and uh, really makes you think about your second shot in. What are we doing here then? So I'm hitting hybrid here. I think quite a lot of wind around, heavy rough, both sides, fairway narrowing and yeah. it just... In the tour event they had around here, were they all hitting drivers? They'd be hitting drivers here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Does it open it's up at all anywhere out there? Because it looks very narrow arrow. Yeah, I think it is. I think the further you go down, the narrower it gets. So unless you're flying that bunker, which may be the pro on the right, which maybe the pros were. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty tight. I'd just like to see the, see the ball on the fairway somewhere and go from there. Okay. Like it just down the left hand side. Can you see that Dan? Just short left of that bunker there. Short of the bunker, yeah. Yeah. Cause oh, a bit of breeze. That's where the layup club came came good. 
Yeah, okay, that will do you. Got a pull driver out at some point, I just don't know where to do it. <laughs> okay, I've got five wood again. Yeah, just trying to find, find position. Oh, that's a great shot. Little draw. Yeah, straight down the middle. I mean, it's downwind, so I really wanted to hit driver, but five wood will do. Contemplating laying up, how to lay up, what to lay up yeah. to, because it's like a bottleneck down there. It is, yeah. This is just to plot your way down the, the whole um, scenario for me. There's just too much, too much trouble, trouble going, going on. There's a lot going on on this yeah. hole, isn't there? Okay, hey, Luke's got himself into a, well, he's okay. He's just short of that hazard down his left-hand side, big stream behind him. He's got a seven iron in his hand, coming out of a little bit of semi-rough. He's just laying himself up into position, probably going to go about 160-ish. Where's, where's that, Luke? Oh yeah, over by that trap over there. Might have fallen in that trap, just there. It's 290 to the flag. Wind's out the right more than downwind. But you're hitting into an absolute bottleneck hole. So it's, uh, do you go with it with three wood and try and carry everything and try and get it into that bunker down there? And then you're bringing the water into play. Or do you hit nine iron? Lay up. Was it ever in doubt, really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, I've got to nut it to get this, to get this right. Okay, you're at nine iron. I'm just literally putting a nine iron down there now. Now I've got 144 yards. I'm glad I've laid up because that stream, I'm, I would have had to rip three wood to get it anywhere just past the stream. And then if I hadn't quite catch it, I'm straight in the middle of that water. So 144 yards, nine iron. Oh, it's perfect. Let's see if we can make a birdie the old fashioned way, shall we? Okay, nice lie out of the bunker. Yeah, got no lip to really deal with, so just try and play it like a, a normal kind of fairway shot, maybe just putting that ball position a fraction further back in your stance, just to make sure you clip the ball first, choke down the grip, all these little things that you can do to help yourself stop catching the sand before the ball. Oh, I love that, fly all the way, fly all the way. Short. Fraction short, but a good, that. good position to be in. Okay, looking back at Luke from the green, he's got a slight upslope that he's pitching off. You can see where this water just runs all the way around the front of this green here. Anything slightly mishit, and it'll feed in there. He's got a little subtle doctor there, little slope up towards that pin. Looks like he's got a little pitching wedge in his hand. Bumping it forward, looking for a bit of stop, 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 massive runoffs. Okay, he's putting, he's gonna find himself in a little swell, but he is putting. What are you seeing, Luke? A lot of right to left, little mound, not an easy putt at all, really. No. Quite off putting that wind coming off the left as well. Yeah, I wouldn't play much for the wind. They're a little, a little sheltered here from the hotel, but to our left hand side. Just going to use the slope. This first ridge, and let it work. Hold there, then. Come on down. Yeah, a lot more break in it. Though. Yeah, when the greens are this quick and you've got that breeze to deal with, it makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll get used to it as we get into the yeah. into the round. I think. See much in this, Luke? Not a lot, really. No, anything just a fraction off that left side. I feel. Yeah. Just wants to again. It's just about keeping the pace up to hold its line. Anything, anything uh, dying, and it's it'll just take it. Didn't do anything, did it? No. Can't let them go. 
This is for bogey. This is for bogey, right? Come on, let's 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 mop this up now. Let's keep this round moving in the right direction. So that is not moved at all, just like my putt. Okay. We move on. Double. We move on. Fifth hole then, par four, straight back up into the wind. 424 yards up towards the Mediterranean, beautiful blue sea in the background. No bunkers off the tee, but when you get up by the green, there is a bunker just up there waiting for us. Again, just positioning yourself off the tee, really important. Drivers out already. Let's get yeah. them. Let's get them going. No choice here, really, no. is there? Forty-four into the wind. Yeah, tough hole. Okay, grab a piece of that. There we. Okay, that's held on. In play. You're okay. You try and keep it low here. Too, not too much anymore. I used to go for the lower flights, but kind of take the spin off of it, get it higher on the face now. So just uh, aim it more down the right and just let it move on the wind a bit. Come on back. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right down the right hand side. Kind of off the upslope now, but should be fine. Definitely gets windier as you get out by the sea, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Huh? And this one is straight into it. Yeah. So, so 194 yards. Yeah, hitting got three wood into it. I gotta be a three club wind any today. Light on it and it's gonna cut it short. Oh, I like that. Hold on. Hold on. Down the right hand side, is it held up? Yeah, it's just, just over on the, the top of that trap. It's gonna be a little chip. Yeah, it's fine. 217 yards off a slight upslope, beautiful lie in the rough, which gives me the opportunity to hit three wood. And I'm not even sure it can get there. Good right. Oh, we'll see. A little bit right down there, but we'll see. I certainly wouldn't have been hugging the right side if I knew the water hazard were down here. There's not too much behind the ball of thick stuff, is no, there? No, there's not. Which is probably what's tempting you to have a hack at it, right? Yeah. It's out. Those noises you could hear with my shot in there were, uh, Frogs chirping away, having a good chat with each other. Okay, Luke, just off the upslope. Plenty of green to work with. Caught it a little skinny. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. It's all right, you're putting. So I'll take it from here. The backdrop is pretty special. Beautiful, beautiful beach. Colour of that sea. Yeah, it's beautiful colouring. Okay, right. what Very you got? Very quick one downhill. Save the par after a bad chip. Okay, a little out of his left hand side here. Again, this is one where because the greens are so fast, the wind can really grab hold of the ball and really start moving it. Get it out of the left. Start position, maybe chase it down. That's such a good putt. Good, that, could, that could easily have got away from you. Yeah. Really could have. I'd pay good money for that right now where I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see a lot in it. A little bit out the right side, a fraction, but not a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Actually, almost went the other way, didn't it? Oh, it's a double. It's 
a double. Easily, easily done out here today. Sixth hole then, beautiful par four. This is drivable for some of the bigger players, tour players kind of uh, going for it in the tournament. 330 meters off the back back tee, but downwind today over the water and up to the green. So another pretty special hole. Oh, look at this beautiful view. It's a little bit more beautiful than my golf game right now. So, double bogey there, I'm now three over. Feel like I've left a birdie out there, little drop shot there, so I feel like I've probably left two shots out here so far. Um, I just, I don't know where I'm going and it's agitating me and this is what happens and it's so important to get a better understanding of of exactly where you're going around a golf course and almost like do your homework before you get out and play here because um, just looking at the maps is not always perfect. You need to know exactly where your layout points are and exactly what you can and cannot go for. So I feel like I've dropped shots or certainly missed shots because of that and more of a frustration inside. Club, four iron, find the fairway. Keep yourself in position. Yeah, shouldn't leave much more than a nine iron in. And okay. Yeah. Going for it, not an option for me. Yeah. Love it. It's perfect. Straight down the middle of the fairway. Perfect down there. Absolutely spot on. Following you, five iron, not swinging it good enough mentally not there with it to be able to hit driver and go at this green so just five iron in position give myself a wedge in hopefully they start knocking on the door for some birds that's perfect i think that'll do us they should be right next to each other right what have you got 130 yeah wedge in hand Feels like quite a lot of green there to work with. Yeah. Pins back left, there is a, a subtle, subtle slope just short of this flag. Bunker behind that flag as well, so just making sure you get it into the fat part of the green is probably the play. And the wind's out the right as well, so again, you start going flag hunting around here and you can get in all sorts of trouble. I really like that play just down the middle of the green area. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah back right. Probably a long okay, back right, that'll do you. There, but... Okay, 117. It's a big 54 for me, but I feel like it's the right play. Keep it up the right, let the wind just bring it in. Door to you there, uh, Luke. Not the best. So Luke just taking the flag out. I'm kind of standing here and, and I'm disappointed with my shot in because it's so far right. But you know, you get it, you get it starting too far to the left or just right of the flag, and you've got so much danger here. So much danger. So, and that's the short side double bogey facing you from a pretty standard good drive. So out the right, loads of green to work with. Smart play considering how windy it is and the quality of golf that's being played today at this moment in time. Okay, down and out the right is where the wind is, which again, we've seen today, we've got to factor it in. Luke? I think a foot outside the right here. Foot outside right. It's almost like my feeling is that possibly the wind might counteract the break because it's so windy. There's a bit of break there. Come on down. It Scared you. It certainly did. Go. Uh, Scrape it. Just know that wind wants to grab hold of it. Okay, and take it, just tick it off and pass, tick them off. These are the stressful ones, aren't they? They are. These are the ones where you feel like you've done all the hard work getting it from A That's to B it. to then C, and now you've got to finish off D. That's it, yeah. 
I just want to point out that that sea is that blue. It is literally like, it feels like we're in the Caribbean at the moment. Come on, let's roll it in. Yes, yes. Take that. There will be a lot of people yeah, cheering on their Dead couches center. with that one going in. Yeah. Great shot, well done mate. Seventh hole, 177 yards from where we're playing it today. Water all the way up towards the green. Bunkers wrapping around this beautiful green. Amazing complex of a hole. Club in hand. Five iron, Okay. 177. Yeah. Start it down the left, let the wind do the thing from there. That's it. Hold there, hold there, hold there. It's just moving on the wind now. Didn't see it down there, it's Luke. Rough over the right there, I think. Is it's it in the rough good. to the right? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to go with six, Luke, just because I think yours just seem to want to ride the wind quite a bit. Hold it. Yeah, it's a great it's a shot. Club, wasn't it? Perfect. Good for club. Let's see if we can turn this round around, shall we? Here we go then. My tee shot got myself just short right of the flag. Uh, I saw Luke's really ride the wind and has gone through the back with his five iron. He's now left with a nasty little short sided shot. But it's 58 degree wedge. Oh, he's flopped it right up. That's delightful from there. Can't explain how hard that is. Camera probably doesn't show it, but there's so much undula undulation there. That's a great shot. Yes, yeah, looks like that from this side. It's just a little out the left, coming in. Yeah. Never came back. Little tip for everybody, always goes to the other side of the hole when reading putts because that one actually wanted to come the other way that I uh, thought it was going to go. Almost straight. Yeah. Okay. Just going with the straight approach. Slightly downhill, I feel. Wind into him a little bit. Maybe a little bit out of his, out of his right. Let's come straight at it. Come on, then. That is such a good up and down. Nice For someone who, who told me last night he couldn't Jump. putt. Very Watch good. It. Great up and down, that. Awesome. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. Put down. It was a misread, but it's in. Two very different threes. Yeah. Probably one very happy and one a little frustrated. Eighth hole, beautiful par five. No let off at all. 498 meters off the back. Water running all the way down the right hand side. Deep rough down the left hand side. And then you get up towards the green and again, stacked out with bunkers. And uh, yeah, get yourself uh, get yourself in a position off the tee. Three wood up the left hand side is your what That's you're favouring. Wind pushing everything to that big scary lake on yeah. the right side. The only there, saving so. grace down that scary lake is the bunker that yeah, next to it. Stops it again. <laughs> yeah. I think there's more room on the left than you can really see from okay, here. Okay, it's all about carry though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I mean, look, that's so good. Swinging it really good today. At the buggy, pretty much. Yeah. I would say that's Down absolutely middle. perfecto. I basically want the same, but with the driver. What I want? Coming down on that house in the distance. Sit down. Oh yeah, fine. I'll keep you up at night, that one. How are you feeling now, Luke? Yeah, settled, I think. I've had a um, couple of chips that have let me down, but generally hitting the ball okay, so I feel settled into the round now. Yeah, okay. And Sorry, do you okay. have any kind of like goal as to what you're trying to achieve for today? Like a, a now a number in your mind of what would be a good score for today? Yeah, I saw my adjusted handicap for these tees is um, 
is, is six. So if I was to shoot six over today in this wind, I think I'd be delighted with that. So, okay. Um, that's probably the top. Well, that, that gives moment. you 36 points, doesn't it? That keeps you level that's to your handicap, it. which is... That would be great today. Yeah. But ideally we want, it's a break pass series, so we want 37. So right, five, there we go. five, five over, over yeah. is your number yeah, then, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Just, it's just about avoiding mistakes today, I think, isn't it, more than anything? Damage but, limitation. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Absolutely it's right. Not going to be a huge amount of birdies out there, I don't think, for no. me, but, um, but I can avoid the doubles. And yeah, you'll be all right. up and down, so then I'll be all right, yeah. yeah. The perfect drive, I would say. 290... 293 yards. 293 yeah. yards. Three wood, but... I'll take it anywhere down there. It seems a lot of room out left. Loads Bunk, of room left, yeah. Bunk is not the end of the world. So we'll aim down that side. Wind okay. should bring it back in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's so good as well. It's on it today. Great to watch. Is that pretty good? It's dropped. Sure, the green. Yeah, but still a good shot in there. Yeah. 296, Luke. Keep it up the left and let, let it move in off there if we can. Go on, up you go, get right a bit. Go on, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, it's a good shot. It's, in... it's either just short front edge or... Yeah. I don't think that's on, but mm. yeah. That'll do me. Pretty good spot, Luke. Well done. Just short of the green, as you said, in the little hollow. Um, flattish kind of lie, but going up pretty quickly to a pin that's kind of situated sort of middle to back. Almost like a bit of a bowl, isn't it? Yeah. It drops down off this, off this shelf off the left-hand side. So almost straight at it, I would say. Yeah, I think so. Just grip a bit on us. A tad long, but... It's still pretty tidy, though. Take that all day, very good. Okay, I got a little 54 degree wedge, just pushing it forward. Got loads of green to work with, but because I'm coming from down to up, that descent angle should take a little bit of the sort of bite off the shot, so it comes in a little bit flatter, sort of shallower descent angle. So it means it should just release a little bit more. At your ball, let it move. landed that like about a foot short of where I wanted it, but it's okay. Off the left for you. You're seeing off the left? Yeah. I'm seeing pretty straight. Yeah, no, now I get up higher, I'm seeing straight, yeah. yeah. We need one, desperately need one to get something going. What a putt. We got one. We got one. Oh, well done, pressure on the putting, isn't there? Oh, that makes me feel a lot better about myself. I bet. Let's see if I can follow you in. Were you expecting such an emotional roller coaster on the way around? <laughs> makes me want this more now. Yeah, come on, let's let's dribble this one in. Are you, seeing? Are you seeing right? I'm just seeing a little falling in off this side here, a little bit. Now drift. Now drift. Just wanted to stay there, didn't it? But look at it, it's gone that way, past the hole. It has, yeah. It's very quick down that hill, wasn't it? Well done. There's no chink in that armoury of putting, I tell you, it's good. Very good, mate. Well done, mate. The ninth hole is 400 metres off the back tee. Again, narrow kind of tee shot, thick rough left and right. Bunkers kind of got to meander your way through a couple of big bunkers down there. And then again, getting up to the green, kind of runoffs all around that green. So again, another strong hole into the wind out of the left. Luke taking the uh, smart option, three wood in hand. Yeah, it feels like, feels like the play a lot of the time around here. It's just, just get yourself into position off the tee. It tightens up the yeah. further you go down the fairway. I agree. It just looks, to me, it just looks narrow. Yeah. I think picking your tees sensibly around this whole, uh, this golf course is important, isn't it? I think so, it? yeah. Come on then, get it into position. Yeah, I love it. Pretty good, just up the left. 
that okay, Luke? I can't that, see yeah. it. Yeah, left side of the fairway. Absolutely. Oh, it's fine there. Yeah, absolutely yeah. fine. Okay, I'm going to just smash driver up the up almost towards your ball, and then hopefully let the wind do its thing from there. Wind. Hold on, hold on. Stop it. I think that's bunker down the right hand side. I think that's sandy down, yeah. Yeah. Another fairway found. You did say you play all your best golf when you find the middle of the fairway. Yeah, yeah. So I'm paying the price for the three wood though, 182 to go. Yeah. Five and, iron? Uh, five iron. A lot of space out to the left, I think. So. Yeah, okay. It like, looks like it feeds in a bit off That's that it, left yeah. side. Hold there. Hold, hold. Go. Bunker. Might be just short right bunker. Short right bunker, yeah. Okay. Okay, 176 loop. I got five iron. I just want to try and clip it off the top if I can. Aiming at the left, let the wind drift it in off there below my feet so it's going to move a bit more just again just to get the strike right I've kind of drawn it a bit get right get right good miss i'd say yeah just maybe just short left of the, of the green bunker found i'm gonna go with yours first only because my mind's back there a little bit but you're ready with your wedges right yeah. um not a lot of green to work with no up high isn't it but into wind, so he's got a little bit of bit of help there. Splash it out, get that bit of spin. Oh, I love that. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Look. Very tidy, very good, mate. Well done. Uh, it looks like another pound in your bit in your bin for that. <laughs> okay, a little 58 degree wedge. Not a lot of green to work with, so I've got to almost like try and spin it in there if I can. I don't know what it's going to do if I land it short. That's my problem. Go. There's your problem, and then it's short. So a little out the right, I'm seeing. Little uphill, Dan. Just a fraction. Go. Look at that. Sun's out, holding putts. Get in. That's a save, isn't it? Yeah, great putt. It is a good job my putter works for me. Because that little wedge game is not as hot as I would like it to be. What you got? Straight down? Yeah, maybe slightly right centre. Right centre. Track, track, track. Very good. Okay, two solid pars, I would say, I'm to make the that. turn. Yeah, I'm happy with that, Dan. Right, Luke, that ends part one. Uh, Scores on the doors? Three over for me, which I'll take. I'm and, happy I, with that. and I'm two over for me, so I'm going to take that as well. We just got to make some birdies on the back Let's nine. Let's get it going on the back. Let's get it going. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you for part two.